Hi, this is Andy Bryce of Easy Data Transform. I'm going to show you how you can easily insert rows with missing dates into a data set. So here we have an Excel spreadsheet with some sales. Dates with no sales are missing. We want to add the missing date rows with zero sales. First drag the spreadsheet onto Easy Data Transform. Make sure Show Advanced is checked. And click the Sequence button to add a sequence transform. So we want to add missing dates from the date column and put them in ascending order. And we want the new values to be zero. Because auto run is checked, the values are calculated as soon as we stop making changes. So all the missing rows in the sequence have now been added with zero sales. Let's say we want all the dates in quarter one. Note the user defined dates have to be added year dash month dash day, regardless of the format of the date column. So now we have values from all the dates from the 1st of January to the 31st of March, but the date format's a bit inconsistent. Some of the months are shown with one digit and some with two, for example. So let's just tidy up the date format a bit. We can use the date time format transform for this. Okay, so now we've converted it to day, month, year. So now let's get rid of the weekends from this data so we don't have any Saturdays or Sundays. We'll add a calculate transform. We'll calculate the day of the week for the date column. Now, if we look in the documentation, we'll see that day of week returns six for Saturday and seven for Sunday. So we'll add a filter to get rid of the rows with six or seven. And then we can get rid of this extra column we've added. So now we've only got sales for weekdays. And now let's output our data to a new Excel file. And look at the file. Let's save this transform to use again. If we wanted to apply it to a different file or a different sheet in the same Excel spreadsheet, then we can do so by editing here. We can also use the batch processing feature to apply this transform to many different files. As well as filling in zeros, we can also copy values from above or below or set values to blank. In some cases, we might want to set the value to blank and then use the impute or interpolate transforms to set the value. We can also insert rows for sequences of integer values, for example, numeric IDs. This is a very small example, but Easy Data Transform can easily handle data sets with millions of rows. If you have any questions, please ask on the easydatatransform.com forum. Easy Data Transform is available for Windows and Mac. You can download a fully functional free trial from our website it only takes a few seconds and you don't even have to give us your email address.